Hi there. Now, in the first part of this question, we found the equation of the circle C. It was x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 1 all squared equals 100. And now we're told that the line L1 is the tangent to C at the point B. And in part B, we've got to find an equation then for the line L1 for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, as usual, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now the tangent to the circle at the point B is going to look, say, something like this. Just sketch it in like that, OK? This is L1. And if we're to find its equation, I'm going to go for the form of a straight line, that is y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where x1, y1 is a point on the line, and that's going to be the point B. m is the gradient of the line L1. And to get that gradient, what I'm going to do is work out the gradient of AB, and then, because this is perpendicular to it, I'm going to use the perpendicular gradient rule. That is, that the product of the gradients is minus 1. And so I'll have m, and so therefore I should be able to get an equation for the tangent. And this is a typical method for questions like this. So let's start off then by working out the gradient of the line a, B. OK, so just put an intro here, gradient of A, B. And to get the gradient then between two points, it's the difference in the Y coordinates divided by the difference in the X coordinates. So it's going to be 7 minus 1, OK, divided by, and the difference in the X coordinates will be 10 minus 2. And if you work this out, this comes to 6 over 8, 6 eighths, or better still, 3 quarters. So now that we've got this gradient here, we therefore have got the gradient of the tangent. OK, so we just put again an intro here. Therefore, gradient of tangent, and that will be equal to, well, all you do is you switch the fraction turn it upside down, so it's 4 over 3, and switch the sign, so it's gone from a plus to a minus. Multiply these two together, and you'll get negative 1. OK, so uh, got the gradient tangent. We're in a position now to get an equation for the line L1. So again, we'll have an intro for this. We'll put, therefore, equation okay, of L1 is... And what's it going to be? Well, it's going to be y minus y1. y1 is the 7. Equals m the gradient, which is minus 4 thirds. And this is multiplied by x minus x1, which is the 10. And it said find an equation for L1. So this would do. But if you wanted to... Not that you'd necessarily get any extra marks for it, but you might want to write it in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero, for instance, where a, b, and c are integers. And if that were the case, I'd just multiply through by three, and we would therefore have 3y minus 21 equals, and if we multiply this by three, it'll just be minus four times that bracket, which will give us minus 4x plus 40. And I would now want to add 4x to both sides, making it a positive term. Then we've got plus 3y. And then I'd want to subtract 40 from both sides. So minus 21 minus 40 is minus 61, and that would equal 0. So that form is the form we often refer to as ax plus by plus c equals 0. But as I said, you don't have to do that. This would be quite acceptable. OK, well, there we go. Standard way, then, of finding the equation of a tangent to a circle.